Many of Philadelphia's most popular museums are now reluctantly closing their doors until next year due to new COVID restrictions. There are ways people can help keep museums afloat even if they can't visit, though. Trang Do joins us now from Center City. Trang? Well, Yuki, several of the city's most prominent and largest museums have already chosen to close ahead of the city's Friday mandate. But today, people got to take in the very last day at the Mutual Museum of a very timely exhibit. There are lots of eerie sights on the shelves at the Mutual Museum, but perhaps what's most eerie is an exhibit revisiting the history of a century ago, when Philadelphia last battled a different but also devastating pandemic, the Spanish flu. It's just interesting how some of the same principles still apply uh, today, where, you know, socially distanced, wear masks, they wore masks back then. Um, so it's important to just keep yourself educated. Physical therapy student June Maloney was among the last visitors to the museum, which will be closed Wednesday, ahead of the city's mandate that all museums remain closed from Friday until the new year. We wanted to check out the museum before everything closes down, and hopefully we can uh, together eradicate this thing and uh, reduce this virus. The news was a gut punch for the Penn Museum, which, like so many other institutions, worked hard to implement extensive COVID-19 precautions to reopen after the spring shutdown. Very disappointing, of course, but um, completely understand the need to try to slow the spread of COVID-19, so we, we all have to do our part. The Penn Museum will remain open to visitors who buy tickets online through Thursday. Beyond that, museums hope their supporters won't forget about them as they weather this difficult time. Stick with us. Uh, you know, the college is here to educate and inspire, and we'll be doing so virtually for the next six weeks. Come back and visit us in 2021, and in the meantime, take a virtual tour, become a member, come to one of our virtual events, and shop in our store. Now, in response to the mandated closures, the Greater Philadelphia Cultural Alliance says implementing a six-week shutdown during the typically busy holiday season will be devastating for the arts economy. But for now, we're live from Center City. I'm Trang Do, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Trang, thank you.